Okay, Velocity Pro Gear, kit bag, loadout video. You wanted to see it? Here we go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And excuse, I'm not working in a fancy studio or anything like that. I'm literally parked on my drive, got the back doors open, got the van cleared out of the back so I can show you guys the tool bags that I use. It's a bit windy today, lighting's okay, it's a bit overcast, so it's not too bright. So hopefully this comes out as clear as I can see it and hopefully you guys can see it clear. Got the dead cats on as well, so hopefully that should reduce any wind noise. Like I said, because I am on my drive, I might get a bit of noise. I live in a close, so we don't really get much through traffic, but you might hear kids and parents walking through the park. So apologies for that, but hope you guys enjoy this video. So these are the five main kit bags that I use. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can still count. Five kit bags. So I've got the PB jobbing bag. I've got the 3.0 XS open top bag, which I'm using as a soldering bag. Excuse the birds. I've got the 7.5 tester bag, which is mainly made for electricians, but I've been using it for myself, for my analyzer and my thermal imaging camera, all my electronic stuff goes in there. Got the hose bag for hoses. And then my favorite one is the 2.0. So that's what I'm going to show you guys last because that is my ultimate breakdown and servicing bag. So everything that I do day to day, that bag comes with me everywhere. Believe it or not, even if I go away, that bag comes in the boot with me because in case I'm somewhere and there's an emergency and I'm needed or I can do something, I've actually worked out that bag on Boxing Day a couple of years ago where, to, where we went up to my in-laws and my wife's friend's parents, their boiler locked out, F75, pump was dead. Luckily, a colleague of mine lives around the corner from there. He had a pump at home. So went to his house, picked up the pump, went back to theirs, fixed it with everything just in that bag. So I'll be showing you guys what I've kept in there as well and how that gets me out of trouble 90% of the time. But I'm going to start by emptying out each bag one by one, give you an overall review of what I think of each bag, the pros and cons, and how I've loaded it out. And you guys can make your own decision as to what you like or dislike about it and how you can potentially utilize it for your own way as well. Let's get to it. Right, let's start with the jobbing bag. So this is the Velocity Rogue 3.5 PB jobbing bag. So PB Plumber, if you guys follow him, he's been involved in collaborating with Velocity to create this bag. So this is being a jobbing bag. It's made for like sort of everyday purposes for different uses, depending on what kind of job you've got for the day. So you can load this out with, if you're doing rad valves, you can put all your rad valves in there, a couple of spanners, grips, anything they might need for that specific job. And then once you're done with the job, empty it out and then fill it up again for whatever you're going to be using for the next job. So it's a handy bag for stuff like that. Got nice sturdy waterproof base as well. You've got these Velcro tabs at the front as well, so you can get your own Velocity Do personalized sticker tabs, so you can get your own ones made for that. I've got the camo version here. Uh, it does come in black as well. You've got another Velcro tag that you can put on the other side as well. The handles, they double up as carry straps as well. So you can pull the straps out like so. And then in there, you could feed in, let's say, a bit of pipe. Uh, let me get some pipe. So if you've got a job where you need to take a bit of pipe, you can strap that in there so you can carry a bit of pipe or a long spirit level or anything like that. You've got a large pocket on one side where I've got my little wearer socket set in there. So that fits nicely in there. Let's put that back in there. And then on the other side, you've got a couple of small pockets here and a slightly larger pocket where I've got my little bolt level in there as well. Let me bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see what's going on inside. So here's a slightly closer look. Hopefully the lighting's a bit better, so you can see going around it. It's got various different pockets. So you can utilize it for pretty much whatever you want. And on the inside, my only gripe is, and this is just a very small gripe, is these handles are quite rigid. I mean, I know they have to be rigid because it's got to be able to hold stuff in there, but I find that they keep going in sort of that closed direction to try and bend them back, they still keep flipping back. So sometimes it gets in the way, especially like a video like this when I want to show you what's going on on the inside. But anyway, on the inside, you've got two large pockets on that side. So you can see how I've got it filled out at the moment. I've got a couple of plum tubs, blue roll, little drain down hose in there, a couple of rags. So this is basically what I'm using as 
for draining down stuff. So if I'm going to a boiler breakdown where I need to drain it down, I take this in and I put my folding buckets, which are back there as well. They will go in here and then I can just empty out whatever I need to use. You've got a slightly deeper pocket there as well. with a couple of small, smaller pockets in there. Little, little cup here, which does come out. There you go. So you've got a little clip there, clip on the side there. So in here, I've got my narrow adverser funnel, got a couple of push fit caps, compression caps. This is my angled impact bit holder. And even in here, you can take that out. So if you need a slightly larger compartment, you can just use that as a larger compartment. I can slot that back in there as well. Just pop that back right in the middle. And then you've got two separate compartments. So let's say if you're going to do a radiator, you could fill that up with like say plugs and screws. So plugs and screws in one side, the rad valves on the other side, or you can just chuck it all in the bag, just as a all in one bag. You can put your spirit level in there. You can pop your longer spirit level in there for when you want to get your radiator brackets on. You can even stick your pipe bender through there as well. So yeah, it's got multiple uses. Like I said, it's a generic bag. It's an all in one bag for generic use. And that's what I use it for. Next up, I've got the 7.5 tester bag. So Again, this one is, I believe it's designed predominantly for electricians for the testing equipment. However, like I said, I'm using this for my analyzer bag and for my electronics bag. So I'll bring you guys a little bit closer in a moment, but just to show you, so you've got a nice carry handle on there. You do have D-rings for shoulder strap, but I've taken it off. You've got front pocket there, three smaller front pockets in there. Side pocket, again, waterproof base. This, I think, is a really good idea that Velocity have done, is on the back of all their bags, they've made this softer material so that when you're carrying it, if you're carrying it with a shoulder strap, it's not going to rub against the side of your body or anything like that and chafe you. Batteries in there, three small compartments which I've left as empty, and you've got a nice, solid clip to open up the bag. So let me bring you guys in for a closer look. So here's a slightly closer look at it. So... Again, on the front, you've got this one long pocket which actually goes down. Yeah, goes right down to the bottom there. So what have I got in here? Got some labels, got some extra filters for my analyzer. Not really much in there. So let's close that up again. And here I've got a three pin plug. I might need to use for anything. I've got a plug tester and some insulation tape because you always need insulation tape. On the sides, I've got extra leads for my multimeter. You've got another little tape loop holder. You've got a clip there. You can clip your tape, measuring tape onto there. Again, this is that soft backing material that I was talking about. So when you're carrying it with a shoulder strap, it's not gonna chafe the side of your body. Another three small pockets there for pens, screwdrivers, electrical testers, and a larger pocket here, which I've just kept for AA batteries, which I can use for my analyzer or whatever. Okay, let's open it up and have a look, see what we've got inside there. So nice, strong zips. Also this bit here, you can adjust this. So I don't know if you want to put any paperwork or anything in there, it's like an elasticated bungee cord. So inside, let's start with the back here. So you've got one, two fairly deep neoprene pockets there. Got large neoprene pocket at the front there where I keep my analyzer probe coiled up in there. And on the front, got my analyzer which goes there. And now that is a solid base as well. So nothing's gonna sort of get damaged. That's inside there. I've got my label printer there. Then on the front here, I've got my temperature clamps. So I've got the two temperature clamps. That's the Testo 115i, various charging cables in there. I've got a, a slotted screwdriver. I've got an electrical tester screwdriver. I've got a couple of attachments for my Regan Duster Duo. So a little blower attachment and the little vacuum attachments there. And just got a couple of small little brushes in there. Now, when we open this up, so this is the main compartment in here. Now you've got one fixed point here. And then this comes apart, it's Velcro onto the side. So you can see you've got Velcro all the way around there and you've got Velcros in the side. So Velocity will give you different compartments, well, different compartmentalized pads or however you want to call them. So you can section it off. I've pretty much removed all of them and I've just kept it as two long compartments, but you can split them off. So they give you dividers. That's the word I was looking for, dividers. 
that will go front to back as well as well as left to right but i've taken those out because all my stuff is long long multimeter at the back the old fluke i think it's fluke 75 i always forget 75 or 73 something like that we'll see that in the next video or another video when i use it got my thermal imaging camera so the testo 865 that sits in there i've got my anton agm 55 that's my gas sniffer and this is the Regan Duster Duo. So this is the little vacuum cleaner and air duster that I use. And these are the attachments that go for that. So like I said, this is basically like my, what I would like to say, my expensive stuff. Analyzer, thermal imaging camera, temperature clamps, multimeter. So my gadgets and gizmos bag, which comes in with me every night as well and goes everywhere with me as well, because you never know when you're gonna need these items. So it's always handy to keep them. And it's a nice, solid bag as well so you know that where you've got expensive equipment in there there's no risk of anything getting damaged you've got nice soft padding for everything you've got a solid base so that inside nothing's going to get damaged and even above it once this is shut and my analyzer goes in there i'm not worried about things rattling around or getting damaged inside because you've got the neoprene from there which is also going to protect the top so that's the 7.5 tester bag any questions or queries drop me a comment comment section below and let's move on to the next bag right next got the velocity pro gear hose bag pretty self-explanatory it's a bag to keep your hoses in but it's got a couple of extra features so you've got a few compartments on there nice strong solid zip now on the bottom you've got a couple of ventilation hoses as well so obviously you're not going to be able to get all the water out of the hoses every single time so if there's a little bit of water in there it's not going to get all moldy inside you've got some ventilation hoses to allow any of the air to evaporate and dissipate and also if there's any water in there it allows it to drain out as well and it's not going to basically just go everywhere will just be collected in the bag let's have a little bit of closer look so nice strong solid handle all stitched in there as well got a little hanging hook there as well so if you've got hooks in your van like i've got here you can hang it on there but this usually just slides in somewhere on the side got a nice deep velcro pocket in there so i've got a few attachments in there so little washing machine connection got lock shield connection so if i need to drain off from a radiator where there is no drain off and i've got going to a lock shield i've got that connection there got a few velcro straps as well for the hoses which to be honest i will just keep them in there i don't really use them because once i've got it all coiled up it sits quite nicely in the bag anyway now, in case you ever lose your bag or it's dark and you can't find it, you've got these illumination strips on there as well. Shine your torch and you'll find your bag. But other than that, you've got a nice big pocket there. So that opens out to expose the whole bag. So it's not just a zip around the front and then like a sandwich bag where you go get inside. The whole flap opens out. So you've got easy access to everything inside. So in here, I've got, well, I've got two long, long hoses. So I've got the orange Rothenberger hose got a long garden hose in there i've got another washing machine hose in there and a bit of condensate hose in there so that's basically what i keep in there and you can see how deep it is as well by the thickness of it so it does hold a lot and it probably can hold a little bit more but i don't need to put anything more in there it does the job for me and it serves its purpose and yeah that's pretty much it there's not really much more to say about a hose bag which holds hoses hope you guys like that one let's get on to the next one next up got the velocity rogue 3.0 xs so this is predominantly just an open tote bag i've used it as my soldering bag because i was using another open tote bag as my soldering bag a larger one and i found i was just throwing stuff in it that i didn't need and it just turned into a throw throw everything in bag which i wanted to avoid i wanted to keep my soldering bag as just my soldering bag and keep it more organized so i've got this as a smaller bag so that i can just keep my soldering stuff in it without it getting too heavy. I mean, you can pick that up easily with one hand. And again, nice solid base at the bottom. You got a pocket at the front, which I don't think I've got anything in there. Not, I haven't kept anything there at the moment. You've got a number of different pockets on the side, flux brushes, got my bending guides there, got my safety goggles clipped on the side there, got a little loop for PTFE tape. Again, so at the back here, you've got actually a pocket here to fit something small in if you wanted to. But again, you've got this soft the backing material. So if you're carrying with a shoulder strap, it's not going to rub on you. 
to keep a couple of little offcuts of copper in there because you never know when you're going to need them. You've got another clip there to put a measuring tape in there and smaller pockets there. Let's bring you guys over and have a closer look at the inside. So here's a little bit of a closer look at it. So again, now this is a personal opinion. It might not affect everyone, but because I'm using this as my soldering bag, it would have been handy if they made this top handle with a clip as well. So you could unclip it and remove it just like you could do with the tester bag because sometimes to get stuff in and out of here, the handle does get in the way. So that's my only gripe about this bag. Other than that, I think for the size of it and what how much stuff you can put in it, it's absolutely brilliant. I'll empty this out so you guys can have a look, see exactly how much stuff I managed to fit in here. And then you can see exactly how many pockets are inside as well. Here we are. So I've emptied out the contents of the soldering bag. So on this side, I've just got my off cuts of copper, got my Nipex flat jawed pliers, a few pipe slices, another few pipe slices, hammer, extra soldering nozzle, a bit of flux, deburrer, ultra fine grade wire wool, normal medium grade wire wool, my guides, solder wire, flux, and my bottle of gas. And this is when I do soldering, this is the one that I use, Mark Vitale. Firemaster 3. The reason I like this one is because it's got a really nice short sharp flame on it and I find out you get a bit more flame control and also you can swivel the head 360 degrees as well so you can get into our awkward angles. Also in conjunction with the Rothenberger hose as well so I can literally leave my bottle on the side or in the bag and have the bag next to me and I can be soldering in awkward spaces no problem. Let's move on to the bag itself. Okay, I haven't taken out the flux brushes, but you know where they go. So that's a pocket there. Like I said, you've got a pocket at the front there. You've got various different pockets on the side. Another measuring tape clip there. This is that back pocket where you can put something in there. It's a little bit tight. I don't know what you'd be able to get in there, but it's another pocket nevertheless. A few more pockets on the side. Uh, another D-link for tape loops and stuff like that. And on the inside, so you've got one, two, three large pockets there, but then you, you can also use the two middle bits as well for other storage. You've got smaller pockets there, a large section in the middle there, and then at the back you've got three large compartments with, again, you've got bits on the side. So you can actually utilize this bag for pretty much whatever you want. It's an open tote, it's not dedicated for any particular type of work, so depending on what you want to load it out with, you can have a selection of spanners, grips, screwdrivers, hammers, whatever tools you want, hand tools, you can power tools, you can probably stick an impact in there. But like I said, for me, I've kept it as my soldering bag because I wanted something which was small, compact, and basically just fits everything in there. So that's what this does. It works great for me as a soldering bag. I had no issues with it so far. And like I said, the only gripe that I've got with this bag is literally with this handle just sometimes getting in the way. So if they'd made a little clip on it to make it removable, I think that would have been just absolutely perfect. But other than that, Great bag, great price, and just does the job. So if you're interested, that's the Rogue 3.0 XS. Check it out. Okay, so we come to the grand finale. Now this is the one I've been wanting to show you guys the most because this is my favorite bag. For years, I was looking for a great service and repair bag. Working in social housing for a couple of years and doing call outs and basically just going in and out of houses. I needed to find a bag which I could literally just have majority of my stuff in it and I could get 99% of the work done without having to carry loads of different tool bags in. So I went through a few different tool bags and nothing really quite fit until I found this bag. And honestly, this is my own personal review. I love this bag. This is my favorite bag. It does the job for me in terms of what I do and I love it. So I'm going to show you guys exactly why I love it. So from the get go, you've got a nice, solid, strong handle in there. You've got a shoulder strap as well on the back. Again, you've got nice soft material. So this is the one that I'd usually carry on my shoulder. So I used to get chafing from other bags rubbing against me, but not anymore, not with this. On the front, you've got a pocket for your safety goggles. Apologies if there's noise in the background, there's people walking past. But in here, I've kept, I used to put my uni light in there initially, but then I found that was better to put my uni light, just hang it on the side there. And in the front there, I've got my Barco little socket set. So I'll keep that out because I'm going to start emptying this as I go along. So you guys can see exactly how much you can actually fit in here. On the side, 
I might need to use two hands in a moment. So I've got the uni light clipped onto there. I've got insulation tape. I've got electrical screwdriver and a small slot of screwdriver. You've got another further pocket here. So in here, I've just kept filling loopholes. I'm not emptying this out because you guys can see what's in there. Actually, you know what? Let's empty it out because I want to show exactly how much kit goes in there because it's deceiving how much you can fit in here. So filling loopholes, bit of silicon grease or some kind of lubricant. It's for, I think this comes with Wiesmann's, but yeah, just keep it in there in case you ever need a bit of lube. Never know when you need a bit of lube. Got pick and hook set for removing O-rings or trying to get out anything which is a little bit tricky to get out. So, uh, let's just try and get that out without tearing anything on the inside. Okay, that's out there. Right, so that's a pocket there. On the opposite side, I've got my U-gauge hose. So I'll stand that up there so nothing falls out of it. I've got my bit holder and my 10 mil nut driver. So I'll pop those there. On the back, I've got my 300 mil bit holder. So we'll pop that there. U-gauge hose, that can go there. MagnaClean spanner. And then yeah, that goes all the way down to there. So, and yeah, so there's a little opening there, which it doesn't go up, but it's a stitch line there. So you can feel that pocket goes down to about there. Now on the inside, well, before we go on the inside, you've got a pocket there. So that's warning notices. They go in there. Let's open this up. All right, here's the grand reveal. So you've got two zips there, and then that pouch just opens out there. And you can see exactly how much gear I've managed to fit in there. So you've got a pouch here. I'm not going to empty this out because it's just going to go everywhere. But you can see I've got Worcester filling key in there. I've got lock shield cap. I've got TRV cap, some meter caps, some probably washers, a bit of link wire. Odds and sods will go in there. And then let's start emptying out things from here. Let's start from the front. So tape measure little bottle of LDF, a cable stripper. So you, just in there, you've got quite a lot of space as well. So I managed to fit those items in there, but you can fit probably a little bit more in there. On the sides, I've got 300 mil bit extension. I've got 300 mil Posi 2. This is great for, well, Worcesters, I'm trying to get the screws out from the bottom of the case. Then at the front here, you've got four small pockets, two on either side. So I've got wire brush, and my angled Schrader valve adapter. I've got seven and eight mil ring spanners in there. And then moving up, we've got a larger pocket. So in there, I've got my three Nipex grips. So they fit nicely into there. On the opposite side, I've got my electrical stuff. So I've got my voltage tester, volt pen, and cable cutters. So you can see the size of those pockets. And they're elastic as well, so you've got a bit of play in them. Next row up. I've got a temperature thermometer. I've got my 15, 22 mil spanner. You can already see how much stuff I'm getting out of here. Got Allen key set. Slotted screwdriver. So that's the next row. Next one up. Got inspection mirror. My adjustables. Let's get them out. It's a bit tight in there. Okay, so two adjustables in there. Another bit holder. So I like this one because it comes out like that, but you can also, let's see if I can, I can't do it with two hands, but you can remove that and put that in a drill or impact driver and use it as a little an extension bit. If you need something which is not quite as long as the 300, but you need something just a little bit longer, you've got that, pop that there. Got a 10 and 13 mil ring spanners, open and spanner or combination spanner, you could call it got the Javik ratchet so this has got a quarter inch three eighths five sixteenths and three sixteenths so you've got four different sizes on there all reversible this i find is great for drain offs pump valves you can just get it on and just ratchet it on and off rather than trying to get a pair of grips and the risk of chewing up the chewing up the head the top one here now these are very short pockets so they only go up to about there so it's good for small bits 
So I've got my little T-bar holder in there. So I've got, I keep a, a, a H4, so a four mil hex bit on there. So this is great for valent drain offs. Got a little stubby bit holder and then got my stubby adjustable. And then you've got another pocket here, which I, no, that's empty. I haven't kept anything in there. And you've got another little D loop there as well. So you can hang any, anything off there as well. So you can see exactly how much gear I can fit into this bag. So it's deceivingly big in terms of how much stuff you can get in there, but it's small enough that you can use it as an everyday grab bag. And if you're doing service and repairs, then you can load it up with exactly what you need and the tools that you need. And you can carry it around with you. And it just makes life a lot more easier because you're not having to worry about what tools do I need to bring with me. You can load this out with 90% of the jobs you do. And then if there's certain other jobs that you're going into where you're going to need extra tools, then you've got your other tool bags like that DeWalt bag there. So that's basically my everything else tool bag. So everything else goes in there that I'm not going to use on a regular basis, such as my little mini hacksaw, uh, my angled nose pliers, my radiator tail removal key, just bits like that, you know, um, chisels, bigger hammers, stuff like that. The stuff that I'm not using every day will go in there, but this is everything that goes in here, and this is the stuff that I use on a daily basis. So let me get this all back into here, and then we'll come back with like a summary of everything, so to speak. Oh, actually, I've got one more thing to show you from Velocity, which I think is so small, but I think it's a bit of a game changer, and you guys are going to like it. Okay, so here's the little bonus item from Velocity that I want to show you guys. Like I said, it's so small, it's so minor, but for me, it's a game changer. Long drill bit holders. So I've got two of them. You can see, fits your long ones in there. So these are, I think, 450. So I've got a 30 mil, and what's this one? A 25 mil. So I've got 30 and 25 mil in there. And then in the other one, I've got a 10 mil pilot bit. I've got a 10 mil auger bit. I think it's called auger bit, where it is for the core drill. So it doesn't actually have an SDS bit or anything like that on it. So I've got two of them, a 10 mil for the core bit, a 10 mil pilot bit for my SDS. And then I've got the 18 mil in there for 15 mil pipe. So like I said, it's just something so small, but it just works. And again, nice, strong, solid material, flat base. So it's not going to roll around everywhere either. And that just goes in my drawer. So there we have it everyone. That's my Velocity Pro gear loadout review. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And as always, if you've got any questions, please drop a comment in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer any, any questions that you guys have that I can answer. And if there's anything specific you want to see, let me know. I can try and do a separate video on that. I have done a dedicated video on my 2.0. So if you search for Velocity Pro gear, Rogue 2.0, you'll find my video. So that's got a dedicated loadout video if you wanted to see more of that one. But yeah, there we go. Just wanted to say thank you to Velocity for sending me out a couple of these bags. Some of them I've bought, some of them I've won on various competitions and a couple of them they've recently sent out to me as well. So thank you very much to Velocity and great bags that are producing. They're absolutely perfect for tradespeople, depending on whatever you're doing. That's my personal opinion, but people will have their own opinions about their own bags. So yeah, feel free. If there's anything else that you want to know, let me know. Other than that, hope you've enjoyed the video and please, 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 you know what you need to do. Subscribe, hit the like button, hit the little bell button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one.